Hey, Monster Truck fans. Welcome to the 2024 Bigfoot 4x4x4 Open House held at the corporate headquarters for Bigfoot in Pacific, Missouri. This is a community event every year as part of the entertainment. We've got Trigger King RC competition on site amongst many other things. But kicking it all off, we've got a unique show and shine competition amongst all of the RC entrants. Some of them just simply here to show and shine. On display only, some incredible pieces of equipment. We're going to take you around the layout and show you some of the trucks on display. We've got some unique original identities We've also got some great replicas, as you see here, the brand new, all custom, wild thing, custom 3D printed skull throwing back to Tony Farrell in the 1990s. An incredible piece, custom designed, 3D printed, and then custom painted, sitting alongside the beautiful backdraft truck, also brand new, a lot of custom work. You'll notice a recurring theme throughout the Show and Shine competition where there's a lot of show and customization that goes into these trucks outside of just the racing components. Some are racers only, some are racers and just gorgeous trucks, and some are just incredible show pieces as well. Here we take a look at the brand new cluster truck from Danny Mass the holographic square body Chevy cluster truck sitting on the LMT chassis. Yeah, I was, I was wondering, uh, so like, what did you do to like get the red on there without like- Last year's freestyle champion LVC RC with a variety of trucks and different bodies and schemes. A lot of personal touches go into creating these monster truck identities. Right now, all of the other competitors looking around at the competition, you hear some chatter in the background, everybody's picking their favorites, um, and there's a lot to choose from. Right here, a beautiful pink Ford Bronco, the two-door version, beautiful body there. King Kong 3, we've got the classic King Kong 3 identity adapted to a racing tube frame truck. Uh, all kinds of different chassis, makes, models out there. We've got Claude Busters, we've got LMT based trucks, we've got SMT 10 based trucks, um, but a lot of uh, specialty equipment on there. Right here you see the Bad Habit from Ron Judd uh, with a PRP chassis. Red chassis. Now we move on to Mean Duck RC and we've got an LMT and then well, the brand new firepower truck on the brand new J Concept 79 Ford body. Uh, sitting on an ACRC Havoc. I think everybody's registered up. Barefoot. Up here if you've not. The classic rival for the Bigfoot fleet. And then the other rival, Taurus RC monster truck, Jeremy Mark and his fleet of Taurus trucks. Also a bitter rival to the, not only Barefoot, but especially the Bigfoot organization. Now we get back to some of the original identities Doug Welker and his Rotten Apple line. He's got a slew of beautiful trucks on different chassis. Right now looking at the Rotten Apple TLR LMT. Even down to the smaller scale, this the 118th, 124th scale, but a custom built Bigfoot 5. I believe this is using uh, some sort of wagon wheel from a cart at a called a hardware store. You'll notice a lot of J Concepts 
bodies After out here so on the track. The a lot of J-Cons have equipment. The they are the retro a fabulous supporter of the entire scale monster truck and industry, as well as a down. lot of other RC industries. We'll do that after the track we certainly appreciate their support. As we take a look at some more monster trucks from Colorado RC and Troy Haas, he's got some modern twists on some classic names that he's brought out. Some more custom printed bodies. Just incredible the work that uh, technology is providing these days and the work that goes into designing these so that they can be 3D printed. Uh, it's opened up a whole new world of opportunity with these identities. Then we slide back to the classic, the Kyosho USA 1 body sitting on the no, LMT. <laughs> yes, couldn't see it at first, the LMT chassis. Here we look at Brass Ring Fab and Mike Bufka. This is the blurred line between incredible custom built equipment and race equipment. Bufka, he races all of these trucks, these incredible custom made tube chassis trucks. There you see Monster Patrol designed exactly like a Mentz Wilman chassis. The truck even performs just like it's one-to-one -one equivalent. Uh, simply incredible work, uh, and the fact that he runs and races them as hard as he does is amazing. But beautiful pieces of equipment there from Brass Ring Fabrication. Tailgater wouldn't be complete without Doug hanging out the side. How many do you need? Another Monster Patrol looks like sitting on an SMT-10 Gravedigger chassis, the green chassis. A great looking Blue Thunder replica for all of those 80s, Camar 80s monster truck aficionados, fans of the old Camaro. With the Bigfoot open house, it draws in a variety of participants and competitors from all around the country. So we slide over here looking at this incredible custom flip top 4x4 Toyota. Wow, look at the work that's gone into this truck. This is amazing. Beautiful work. We move over to the Tom Mintz timeline here. Everything from Goldberg to early maximum destruction identities to later maximum destruction identities. Max D uh, even equipped with the world finals dump truck from that stunt. Awesome stuff. As you see, a lot of exciting pieces sitting out for display. Third place, we've got to break them down and third place goes to Mike Buffka, Brass Ring Fab and the Monster Patrol truck.
your crowd voting. Everybody's chipped in their votes. We had a lot of entries and votes for different trucks. Coming in second is the incredible and brand new Wild Thing. Just incredible work to make that come to life. And now it's time to crown our show and shine winner for the 2024 Bigfoot Open House. And it goes to the incredible tailgater truck. Mike Buffka and Brass Ring Fabrication. Top to bottom, just amazing. You got the bobtail body with the JB Scale graphics front clip on the front of the gator, the custom tailgater wrap all the way around, and then what I think really seals the deal is the 100% custom made scale accurate tube chassis that sits under tailgater matching that of Tim Jones. And you can't underestimate the value of Doug, the tailgater hanging out the side. Congratulations, Mike Buffka. Incredible stuff from all of our participants. We've got racing action coming up next time, so we hope you'll join us then. But for now, thanks for joining us, and we'll catch you next time. <laughs>